Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Keo Daiken. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to take a look at the brand new Raspberry Pi 4 case. This is made by a company called iUniker. You can follow them on Facebook. They do have a group over there with about 500 subs and they're constantly growing. Uh, this case was sent directly to me by the company and this case retails for about $13.99 and it has dual fans and is made of acrylic uh, type of material. Now, one of the things that really interests me about this case is that you don't need any tools with it. It's all magnetic, and all you have to do is slap your pie in it, and you're pretty much good to go. The assembly is very much straightforward, and it also has the rubber grommets on the bottom of the pie case already assembled. And, of course, it comes with this little instruction manual, but it's, everything is really straightforward, and you really don't need it. Included in the case is also four additional heat sinks which really comes really nice. A lot of cases don't come with heat sinks, but it's really good that this case does as well. Now, once you open it up, you'll find that your additional heat sinks and the magnetic pull on the case, which comes in three different pieces, is pretty strong. So once you put your pie in there, it really won't fall out. In fact, the magnetic uh, pull or the magnetic connection on the case itself holds the pie in place as well. In fact, I was kind of concerned about that once I, if I took the bottom off or one of the middle pieces, would the pie just fall and hit the ground? And honestly, after playing around with it for a little bit, it really wasn't a problem and it was really nice and secure. It feels really good and it's really soft it's smooth, so it has a nice little touch to it, which will make you, which will actually last you a little bit uh, long as far as longevity. And uh, you don't have to worry about keeping your or getting your fingerprints on it either. Now, the one thing that did concern me, I was kind of looking around, was how would I put my memory card in there? Uh, looking at the grommet itself, you can see that once you put this together, there's really no access to the memory card. But pretty much you want to make sure that you put your memory card in there if you are going to use an SD card. Make sure you have it in there before you assemble the case. And even if you get to insert your SD card, it's really not a problem. Uh, even though the case is really firm, it's really easy to kind of pull apart. Here you have this uh, center piece. It's a clear acrylic piece. And with this uh, acrylic piece, it allows you to see your LED connections on your Pi 4 device. Everything snaps into place. And as you can see, it won't fall out. It won't come apart. It's, it's made a really good quality. And it takes a little bit of force to pull them and separate them uh, from one another too. And with the top piece, you get this little connector here. We're going to connect this to the, uh, I believe it's the fourth and the fifth pin slot on the GPIO board. Uh, typically these are separated, but they make it really easy to install. And it comes with two powerful dual uh, fans that'll pull the heat right off of the processor. And as you can see, assembly is already done. It's a really nice little case and you know, I know a lot of people are out there uh, selling different projects and stuff. So if you are in the projects and you need something for your customers that are really uh, simple and straightforward, I'd highly recommend this case. You have full access to your Ethernet and your USB 2.0 and your USB 3.0 ports as well. And just to give you guys another look at where the SD card slot is, uh, you can see that there is no way to pull or uh, either insert or pull out your SD card once the case is assembled. Uh, but again, it's really not a big problem. Um, I was just wondering, you know, uh, based upon my experience with previous cases, that's usually open from the outside, but everything's fully protected on the inside of the case. All right, so now once we have our case uh, assembled, let's go ahead and insert one of our images on here and we'll leave it on for a little bit and do a temperature check. I really wanna see how cool this case uh, is uh, running an image because this looks like a pretty cool case and I'm really curious to see what results I get. Now here's our first look of the case. You can see the red LED light coming through the uh, case here. I think it'd be a really nice choice if they added some type of glow factor to this case. 
but it looks really nice and it's pretty sleek okay now that we have our retro pie image fully loaded um, I'm gonna take a look at this um, I've had it on now for about a good 30 minutes or so I've played a few Atari games so we're gonna take a look at the temperatures to see exactly what uh, temperature readout this is uh, giving us for the case and so in case you guys are wondering yes this is the finalized version of Supreme Ultra which should be coming out any day now so um, just to also let you guys know that if you are subscribed or a member of my patreon this will release about a week earlier uh, before the official release so let's go ahead and take a look at our, op our options and we're gonna go to system info and weather so after playing a little bit of Atari 2600 and having this on for a few minutes you can see that the temperature is roughly about 45 to 46 degrees Celsius so this case is really doing its job I know typically with most cases it does run about uh, this same um, temperature or the same Fahrenheit or Celsius, whatever which one is your preference. So yeah, we are getting 45 degrees uh, Celsius here on this build. You guys can see it underneath the partition where it says 947 gigabytes. And so um, I'm really impressed with this case. Again, you guys can find a link to this case in this video. Uh, again, it retails for $13.99. It's pretty much simple and straightforward. Uh, it has really nice, cool design. And um, again, I do not have on any of the heat sinks on the case uh, for this particular video. I'm going to save those. But um, I'm overall and happy and you know, impressed with this case. Uh, make sure you guys leave a comment below and make sure you guys thank the company iUniker uh, for sending me this case to review. Uh, this is probably like my second or third item I've received on the channel to uh, specifically review because I normally don't do a lot of um, uh, open submissions where people will send me things to review. But I'm, I'm going to start looking into that a little bit uh, more. But anyway, guys, hope you guys enjoyed this video. And uh, this is an overall great product. I'll catch you guys later. See you guys next time. Keel Dykin signing out. Peace.